Hi there and welcome back. We're going to look at a really, really quick issue that those of you that might be new to using brushes and filters in Lightroom may have encountered. And I've gotten this question from a few different clients who have purchased brushes uh, through Presets Paradise and they don't know what they're doing wrong and it's such a quick and easy solution that I wanted to make sure everybody knew about it. Hopefully save you guys a headache or two. So um, let's dive right in. You just installed brushes, you have this great portrait you're looking at, you want to just add those finishing touches and you go to pick a brush. And for this example I'm just going to use one from the portrait set which is the skin softening brush. Now this has been happening to some folks where you go to apply the brush and you get this red, bright red um, highlight right in the area where the brush is being applied and they have no idea why. If you look down here at the bottom, it says show selected mask overlay and this needs to be unchecked and that will go away. What this does is it will highlight in red whatever the current uh, brush node is that you're working on. So it shows you the area that you've covered with that brush effect. It can be a very useful tool if you want to just make sure you're covering the ground that you want to cover on the image. If you want to confirm that you've applied the brush where you think you have, maybe the brush isn't strong enough. But while you're working, it's really not useful in the process because it tends to get in the way. You don't see the effect of the brush as much and you see this big bright red area instead. Another way that you get that is if you hover right over that node, it'll temporarily highlight that section. You go away and it goes away. So when you hover over the node, it highlights the um, masked area with the brush. But this checkbox down here, very important to keep that unchecked while you're working. You really only will need to use that when you're confirming where the brush has been applied. So I hope this has been helpful. I hope it saves you a headache or two down the line. And I hope this allows you to have a lot of fun with the brushes. I'll see you next time.